Hi, this is Rob Farrow with Allnet, and this is a very brief demonstration of the Allnet Evidence Hub. Now, uh, you can access the website through this address, ci.allnet.org. As you can see, there are various ways that you can navigate the data here. Um, we have a global search function up here. We have uh, these grey tabs, which are different categories. And we have uh, exploring by theme. Now, the themes are sort of like the glue that holds all this data together. And I'll say more about that in a moment. First of all, though, let's have a quick look at the map. And what you can see here are the various organizations and projects um, associated with OER and the OER world uh, in their physical locations around the world. And we can click on these to get more information. We can actually go further into the descriptions as well by clicking on these pink links. And that brings us straight through. Now, inside the, uh, inside the node for an organization or a project, there's room for the description, the physical location, partnerships, challenges, whatever web resources might be relevant, uh, and the themes. And the themes are the categories that anything can be tagged by within the system. Let's go back to the home page. So we've seen that we can track projects and organizations and we can build up a picture of how it all fits together. But what we're really interested in is how the evidence for OER fits together, how convincing it is, and what kind of challenges there might be uh, for people working in OER, um, and maybe what kind of solutions have been presented uh, and how plausible they might be. So the Evidence Hub draws on the power of collective intelligence to support the OER community in finding answers to these questions. Let's have a look at some challenges. So what we have here is a series of issues and questions that have been raised within the OER literature, forums, conferences and so on, but distilled down to their essence and linked up to other relevant questions. If I click on one, I get the option to explore it further. So here we have a challenge about institutional policies for repositories. Here's a brief description, here are the themes that it's relevant to, and here are two potential solutions regarding uh, collaboration and metadata standards that might be solutions to the challenge. Now people can vote on this um, and uh, provide counter arguments, counter evidence and so on. So it's really just supporting the community to make the decisions rather than making the decisions on their behalf. Let's do a search for something that is quite a common theme in OER, copyright. Now you can see here we have the results broken down by the different categories. Let's take a look at the challenges. Or the solutions. So in this case, if we explore the node, the challenge about copyright issues is presented. In this case, this potential solution involves using a particular web tool to assess the uh, the risk involved in using copyrighted materials. So there's a dynamic between challenges and solutions that's intended to be helpful to the community uh, and help them to draw upon their own collective intelligence. But not everything fits neatly into the categories of challenges and solutions. So for more general claims and for discussions arising from research debates which may not be phrased in the form of a solution or a challenge. We have the claims category. So I'm going to go back to the home page and have a look at research debate. So here we have some various claims that have been made and some of these come from research literature, some of them come from news articles, from blogs and so on. Let's just take a look at one of them. So here's a, here's a claim about open access. 
Now, you can see here a description of the claim, the relevant themes. Uh, in this case, the evidence that's been cited in support of the claim. So there's a, uh, a report here about um, open access university press, compared it with traditional press, and it found that uh, there was no reduction in printed book sales when uh, an academic book was made available digitally under an open access license. And you can see how these relate to challenges here. If I expand this, here are the various challenges which share themes with this claim. But let's go and uh, have a look at some different kinds of evidence, because it is the evidence hub after all. So there are various kinds of evidence within the system. There are academic papers, blogs, anecdotal evidence, reports. It doesn't really matter what kind of content you're dealing with. The Evidence Hub is able to capture the metadata and show how it all relates into one big picture. So to give you an example of how the Evidence Hub distills down the main claims, let's have a quick look at a recent report by JISC. So here we have the JISC OER impact study published earlier this year. We'll explore that. So within the evidence node, you can see here again the description. Here's a link to the website where you can download the report. Here are the themes that it touches on. But down here at the bottom are the claims that are made within the report. So we've got claims about policymakers, institutional support, and so on. These claims then act as nodes in their own right, and they allow the user to find new pathways through the Evidence Hub. Now, by distilling the claims down from this long report into just eight claims, the Evidence Hub makes it easier for people to track what's going on in these debates, where the evidence is for the best views, and to try and decide what kind of solutions might be the practical ones. Now there's lots more that you could say about the Evidence Hub, but this is a short demonstration. And the best way of approaching it really is to just start to navigate yourself and find your own pathways through. For a more detailed introduction, you should access this screencast um, on the Evidence Hub, and that's located at podcast.open.ac.uk slash pod slash evidence hyphen hub and that's about a 15 minute film which goes into a bit more detail about the ideas behind the evidence hub and how it works thanks for listening